I just saw Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman, and it's both full of riches of like, oh my gosh, for someone who loves to build characters and think about what it means to be a human, it's it's rich, but it's more like an internal film. I think that's I think that's a lot to do with Angela Robinson who wrote it. Yeah. I mean, she wrote. There is no doubt she wrote the version of this story that was the most personal to her, and she defines herself as she's a queer lady filmmaker, and she wanted to tell this story that was her, in some way, as much as their story, her story. And she wanted it, she felt that every depiction of unconventional relations, relationships on film, kink on film, all of these things that this film encapsulates, are nearly always told in this slightly salacious, slightly um, transgressive, slightly seedy way. Right. Like there can only be a bad outcome. You or know, it's played for, f there's a second purpose going on of it's sexy. Right, yeah. Or it's it's sexy for, for sexy sake without any kind Rather of... Rather than for human's yeah. sake of human <laughs> sexuality. <laughs> exactly. And, yeah. and so what her intention was, how about we make a film that shows three people working out what they want sexually? Right. Like, let's make that sexy. Let's eroticize that, like the real relations of what's going on and the emotions between these people. And the hope is that as an audience member, you know, the people of which I'm sure there are a couple that go into this kind of going, oh, this is going to be a bit titillating and oh, you know, I'm not sure what I think about this. By the end of it, they're just crying going, oh, please, I just want them all to be together. Right. <laughs> and they yes. think it's good and it's normalized, you know, and I and think that's and she, the and, subversive element of this And that's what's film. subversive about it is that she is she set out to normalize all of it. And part of that is the fact that these women are not stereotyped. Right. You know, like it would have been so easy to to make a version of this film where Elizabeth Marston is angry and hard done by and Olive is a manipulated ingenue who doesn't have any autonomy and is lost. Instead, what you get is an ingenue who grows into a woman and works out exactly who she is and what she wants and a powerhouse who chips away at herself to discover that it's okay to be vulnerable to love. Right. And to have one of those kind of arcs in a film is rare enough. To have like two ladies with an actual huge human arc, I think, grounds it in the world of, okay, this is really about real, this is about people.